oftentimes people will wake up in the middle of the night and um, get themselves in a tizzy, um, almost in a catch-22 where they're worried about needing to fall asleep to make it through the day, which keeps them awake. Um, what I usually tell people to do is when they do wake up, um, if they can't fall asleep between uh, within 15 to 20 minutes, they should uh, leave the bedroom and go to a quiet place in the house and do something that's calming. It may be uh, reading. Um, and when they get tired and uh, ready to go back to sleep again, then they should reattempt falling asleep. But not to lie in bed because that just perpetuates the problem. One should uh, try to avoid naps with the possible exception of the elderly or the debilitated. Uh, one should consider the role of eating in general with sleep. For instance, it's probably a bad idea to take a heavy meal close to bedtime, but it can be useful to take a light snack, avoiding not only coffee and cola drinks in excess, but also other sources of caffeine, including many over-the-counter medicines. One thing that I've also found useful, and this is a personal thing and I've told patients, and they've found it useful as well, is I go on a trip. I actually go back to the place where I grew up, my childhood neighborhood, and I could walk downtown and I actually take a walk downtown and I try and remember the different houses and shops I pass. And before I get downtown, I don't think I've ever made it downtown, but I'm asleep. Sleeping pills uh, often are more of a part of the problem than part of the solution. And in fact, at one point in time, sleeping pills were uh, the leading cause of insomnia, ironically, in the United States. The uh, biggest problem with them, too, is that the fact that they're meant to be taken transiently, if you look at the labeling information, but typically that's not how they're used. They're used long-term, and most of them will lose effectiveness, and people take more and more and more, and thereby getting more and more of the side effects. It's also been shown that light therapy may promote good sleep and exposing oneself to light early in the mornings in fact can consolidate sleep. It may in fact bring sleep on a little earlier. Light sources that you can use inside uh, for 30 minutes, 40 minutes at a time, particularly in the northern climates during winter in particular, and that will promote a good night's sleep. A lot of people, particularly in this day and age, are tied to technology. People have their beepers, they have their cell phones, they have their computers, they have telephones and remote controls and everything. Uh, um, at their bedside, they may have five or six different pieces of technology uh, waiting to go off um, and waiting to disrupt their sleep. So throw it all out, get it out of your bedroom. The concept of a comfort country in appearance of your bedroom um, that's quiet, that's comfortable, that's dark, and that's peaceful is probably the best way to uh, get yourself in a mood to go to sleep. Regular bedtimes help to entrain yourself. And also, too, making sure that you get into a routine, kind of a ritual, of winding down and not speeding up. What people also fail to do is try and relax before they go to sleep. A lot of people have a lot of problems on their mind uh, and they worry about those problems in bed and how to solve the problems for the next day. And what they really ought to do is take time off before they go to bed and give themselves a so-called worry period, whatever you like to call it, that they write down on paper their problems and their priorities for the next day, and then they write down the solution, how they're going to deal with it. A pillow does make a difference in terms of getting a good night's sleep and the pillow fits in the arena of having your bedroom a comfortable and pleasant environment. And uh, if the pillow is uncomfortable, um, people will not be able to sleep well. The Johns Hopkins study, which was published by Dr. Lavin and Associates in the Archives of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation set out to evaluate pillows. It was very clear and very, very significant that the Metaflow pillow uh, provided much better sleep for these people. Their subjective reports, they slept much better and felt more refreshed. Mm -hmm.